things up a notch. Cody, back with more stunts that are just a little tougher to teach. Yeah, yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna break it on down, Chris. Let's just break it on down. Yes. Teach us how to do it. Well, we really do. Um, we want to let people know that you can train any dog. Doesn't matter the age, breeze, or size, as I mentioned earlier. But um, when you first start training your dog, you want to use positive reinforcement. Okay. We use all treats and and a uh, lot of love and praise. And when we first start teaching, like say a trick, um, I'm gonna go over um, how to teach your dog to take a bow here this morning. Okay. So uh, a lot of times bow seems like it's a very difficult trick, but it's actually in the beginner section of our book. We have over 20 different beginner tricks oh. you can teach your dog. The, the reason becomes a little more challenging sometimes your dog already knows a good down. So when you're trying to get them to take a bow, they're laying down. Oh, so the key, the key is first is to have your dog standing up. So a lot of times if your dog's, I'm going to show you something here, Vinny, sit. If your dog's sitting to get him to stand, a real easy way to get your dog to stand is oh. just walk right towards him stand and give him a treat as a reward. <laughs> so that's a real quick and easy way to get your dog to stand. Once your dog's standing, go ahead and get down in position. Put your arm just right underneath their, 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 their tummy there. And then you're just going to show them that treat and you're going to lure them with that treat down into the oh, bowel position. Now, okay. at first I'm putting, I'm putting pressure there. You know, I'm holding them up. Um, but then what you're going to start doing is alleve, uh, relieving that pressure. Don't, don't push so hard. You oh. know what I mean? Don't push hard at all, actually. In fact, just start slowly bringing your arm out pretty soon. You can get them to go into the bowel position I mean, give them another treat. Vinny, bow, yes. And pretty soon I can oh, relieve yeah, the arm completely. Arm bow, very good, ah. very nice. And then, of course, you can start changing, changing your, your positioning. Vinny, bow. Yes, very good boy. And then what I'll start doing is phasing out the cookie in my hand and phasing in the air cookie again. Okay. So I show him that he thinks I got the treat in my hand, but it's not. It's the air cookie. Yes, very good boy. He'll get the treat with the other hand. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's the take a bow. The other fun one that we go over in the book, um, is a little more intermediate of a trick, is the, the figure eight. Now, oh, I'm using the, the treat as the lure here, and I use two different treats. So I have a treat in each hand at first. Oh, okay. So he's following the first treat. And following the second treat and getting that one as a reward. At first, you're going to give them a reward right away, right as they go through the first leg. And then, again, you're going to phase out that, cook, that cookie and phase uh -huh. in the air cookie. This time, no, no treat in this hand. Back through, I'm kind of going fast, but then right back through there, you get that treat as a reward. That's Pretty soon, one. the finished product is Vinny, figure eight. Look at that. And he just goes on autopilot, and there it is. Once they get... Uh, really into it and take a bow. You're doing so good. Oh, nice. So nice. chaining a couple of tricks right there. Very nice. Now, now once yeah. again, I want people to understand. Yes. This is just this is a dog that's been rescued, right? Yes. He is a rescue from Minnesota. He comes from the Minnesota Border Collie Rescue. He's half Australian Shepherd and half Border Collie. And don't be shy about it. It's not. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. No. But uh, he's a he's a very good boy. Super smart. Um, but uh, you know, it took a lot of training. I mean, uh -huh. we've been training this guy Sue and I since he was like 10 weeks old and. And he's about four now. Oh, really? So, but you can train any dog as they get older. Any we're dog. teaching new things to these guys uh -huh. to really keep them acclimated and keep them energized, and and it's just so much fun trick training. It, it really, it really increases the bond with your dog. And this is the the dance on hinds. And of course, some of the times a smaller dog is going to be better at that trick, uh -huh. just because they're always trying to get up for attention. So oh, they already it? have that that core strength to be able to do it. So, but with now the bigger been, dogs, you've been feeding me some air cookies. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like I'm ready for my trick. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, All right. Sure. Awesome. Oh, Sounds boy. good. Well, Vinny actually jumps rope, and yes, I was hoping maybe you could help me turn the rope for him here this morning. Are you ready, Vinny? Let's give it a shot. Vinny, jump. Whoa. Vinny, jump. Yeah, Vinny, oh, jump. Yeah, jump. <laughs> jump. Oh, you're turning a little jump. That's okay. Oh, jump. Nice. Oh, Back over here. Goodness. Yeah, Vinny, one more. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Very nice. Silly boy this morning. Yes. Oh, you this is so amazing. Like, you can open up a whole world with your dog. Oh, it's yeah. It's the big book of tricks for the best dog ever, and you can get it anywhere, right? In, any bookseller right now, you buy it online. Um, you can order it on our website, stuntdogshow.com or dogtricksandstunts.com. We'll get you an autograph copy if you like. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. I feel like I learned good something job, today. Good job, Benny. Good job, oh, bud. Such a good dog. You're so good dog. It's a beautiful dog. All right, back to you. That was awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Code. We're here, a group full of rock history and ready to hit.